there could be a significant shift on Labor and therefore the government's position on Israel and Palestine. Penny Wong has outlined whether there should be a debate on rec recognising a Palestinian statehood. That's before an official sta two-state solution. She did offer significant caveats, though. Joining me live is Shadow Home Affairs Minister James Patterson. Thanks for your time. The, the caveats are major. Uh, there could be no role at all for Hamas and no threat to Israel. That's close. I mean, they're the key ingredients for a two-state solution anyway, aren't they? I think there's two possibilities here, Tom. One is that the government actually has no intention of following through and prematurely recognising unilaterally a Palestinian state, in which case Penny Wong is irresponsibly playing to a domestic political audience on a hugely sensitive international security issue, or they genuinely do intend to break with decades of bipartisan policy in Australia on Israel-Palestine, which is that we do support a two-state solution but not unilaterally imposed from the outside, one that can only come after a successful peace process between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Now, neither of those things are good. I I'm in the camp that I think they are looking like they're going to very walk seriously walk away from this. Let's remember Labor said before the last election, there is no difference between the major parties on Israel. That is now looking like it was a lie. We'll see what, what happens. As I said, she wants a debate. My understanding is it would go through Cabinet. Would it... Offer, though, something concrete in terms of encouragement? Because I should just mention, by the way, it's not just Australia doing it. The US and the UK are both hinting at the same position, aren't they? Would that make us less of an outlier? I, I think it's inconceivable that the United States would prematurely recognise a Palestinian you think state. UK Utterly could. inconceivable. That seems more likely. Um, uh, but perhaps it's slightly more likely, but I think also very unlikely. No Five Eyes country has prematurely recognised a Palestinian state. Mm. Uh, there are some countries in the world who have, but not the normal countries we vote with in the United Nations, not the ones who we share values with or perspective with. Mm. This would be a huge departure from uh, Western policy to this issue, and with good, good reason why it would be a big departure, because how can we possibly recognise a Palestinian state that is in part controlled by a terrorist organisation. Well, that that's the, the key element. Today. They wouldn't be controlled if they were doing this. This is the caveat okay. from Penny Wong. So well, well, what is Penny Wong's plan to remove Hamas from Gaza? Because she also says there needs to be a unilateral ceasefire in Gaza, that the IDF should stop all operations Wouldn't this in idea Gaza? be that what this says to the Palestinian people is, if indeed, particularly if it goes beyond Australia, I mean, we don't want to overstate Australia's influence on this, if you really do, uh, you know... Um, decide you don't want Hamas anymore, so, say the people do revolt, there's something concrete you get out of it. This is, this is not just lip service. Get rid of Hamas and you get some recognition. I think it sends the opposite signal, which is that no matter how bad the conduct of Hamas or Fatah or any of the Palestinian factions are, you mm. can still get international recognition from Western democracy. But they won't get Australia. it if Hamas is there. Well, but that, that's anyone a, that, has floated. That's the caveat she's given. Yeah, I, I, I'm very sceptical about the... Australian government's ability to enforce that caveat, and you wouldn't float this unless you were serious about proceeding with it. Let's remember, if Hamas on the 6th of October when they are planning this operation, in their wildest dreams, they would not have thought that the response to the slaughter of the largest number of Jews since the Holocaust would be that a country like Australia would recognise a Palestinian state. That is not what they would have dreamed of, but that is what... They probably wouldn't proposing. dream of being kicked out of power, though. So I, I know you said the Australian government can't enforce it. I mean, I don't think they're talking about enforcing it. It's a condition that has to exist... Well, not, not only can we not enforce it, the current position of the Australian government is not even to support the removal of Hamas. Penny Wong says the war in Gaza should stop now. That means the four brigades of Hamas who remain in Rafah will control Rafah and, as the IDF withdraws, ultimately will take control over well, Gaza. Really, the only way Hamas so, leaves is not by their own um, will, is it? It's the, the people would in some way oust them. That's well, what needs to happen. Isn't this a message to Palestinian people as much as to anyone else? Your future is not with Hamas? Well, Hamas has been in power in Gaza for almost 20 years. There's been no sign at all of any successful attempt to remove them from power. Not successful, very... but there has been various polling, though, suggesting... Uh, I think particularly at the start that they weren't all that popular. They sort of seized power. There has been recent polling suggesting perhaps they're growing in power. Well, in let's be clear, popularity. Tom. After the IDF unilaterally withdrew from Gaza in 2005, Hamas won elections and then used that position to destroy all rivals to power in Gaza and since then have faced no meaningful resistance within Gaza. So the idea that we will allow them to retain control of Rafah, withdraw the IDF, ultimately mm. take Gaza, and then somehow they're going to walk away or the Palestinian people are going to throw them out is ludicrous and it is a, is a real contradiction to the heart of this policy.